Okay, it's been a year since uh, we did this uh, dust collection system using the Onida Dust Deputy. And uh, this is just an update to give you a little bit of uh, uh, information as far as how it's been functioning for the last year. But I basically said that uh, this has been working as expected. Uh, no problems whatsoever. It uh, collected the dust, separated it uh, through the centrifuge and uh, put minimal dust or debris in the actual uh, shop vac itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, the only issue I've had with this, and it's really not an issue, but it's more of a cosmetic appearance than anything else, is the top. And I'm not sure if you can see it has been has dropped down a little bit just through the vacuum. And here's an example. Um, the noise may be a little off, but uh, you'll see the movement of this pulsating down when I basically plug the top to the end of this vacuum. hasn't dropped that much but uh, this top is very very uh, hard and a thick plastic and is actually joined to the bucket with uh, a metal band around here so I'm not really worried about it but the fact that it is curving down haven't had any issues with the leaking uh, over the last year uh, but just to be on the safe side I might, might do a modification here just to kind of raise this back up a little bit and keep it from being pulled down when I have a full vacuum drawn on the uh, container. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually do a disassembly of the entire uh, unit. We get a first hand look as far as what I've actually collected in the drum here for the last, I would guess, uh, a month or so here and uh, see what residue actually ends up in the actual vacuum itself so uh, let's get started I'm gonna speed this up because I don't think you want to see a slow motion of this so I'm gonna move the camera back and do a disassemble and uh, we'll do a close-up we'll do a close-up and see what everything looks like
nothing like a typical uh, shop bag. I got some paper in here, but as far as accumulation, this versus this, which is probably about uh, eight inches high. Let's see it on the side. Maybe the shuttle a little bit there. So it's about eight inches, ten inches. So I accumulated this. This is the residue I have in the actual shop pack itself. The uh, filter is clean, it's a little dust, but nothing compared to the way it usually, they usually are. I easily push this, uh, basically pop down through the back up. The top sits back like that. I pushed it back up so you can see the contour is upward. Now the question is that once I put this back together, how do I maintain that upward contour? And I think the way I'm going to do that to solve that problem, I don't want to start drilling holes into this again and end up with a, uh, a vacuum leak and just basically ruin my entire uh, container. So I'm going to work from the inside out and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use some PVC fittings. along with a half inch PVC pipe.
you like this channel, please hit the subscribe button. But we would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. 